Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with TLC Designs and today's project share is this darling funky fold card that I created. Um, the actual design from the funky fold came out years ago and I do have a video on it. I did not originally create this design, um, but I did, I believe, give links to who did. So anyways, we're gonna, this is just a remake and I will be showing how to cut and get your inside um, piece, the measurements on that. And we're gonna be using the fun Celebrate collection. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is a six by 12 piece of cardstock and a ruler, a ruler, <laughs> a cutter, oh boy. And so I've already cut this because it, it is dark and this is gonna be for a different card. I've got everything prepped in on the side. So the first thing we wanna do is get our cut. So there's only two cuts to this card. Um, we're gonna measure at one and a quarter and we're gonna bring the cutter up to the one inch mark. And so we wanna go from the one inch to the seven and do a cut line. So let's see, so one and a quarter in, and then your one inch up, come up to the seven. Okay, so you got that one. Now you're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So we wanna measure one and a quarter from here to the cut and then bring this up to the one inch and cut to the seven inch. And that's all we need for that. And so the next thing we're gonna be doing is our score marks. And this is just gonna create um, the fun fold on this card. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna come in and do our scoring marks because this is where we're gonna get our folds and I am in camera view. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so on this, we wanna come to the one inch and we're only gonna score the one inch to the cut mark. Um, I gently kind of bring it whoops, across just so I can keep in that groove. And then we just wanna score the same thing here. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, just flip it. You could flip it and come in and do your score mark if you choose. So now you're gonna come up to the two inch and the same thing, we're scoring at that two inch mark and then two inch. So we're only coming into the cut lines and I think you could see that. Okay, so we haven't scored anything in the middle. So now we wanna come up to the six and we are going to score in the middle only on this one. So we're at our six, right? Hopefully. <laughs> okay and so then our next one is at seven and again we're only scoring to the cut line and then you could always flip it if you want so you don't have to worry about trying to come across here these grooves on here they're kind of funny so the next thing we're going to do is we're we're folding these two scores like so so we're pinching so i've scored them down or scored them, I've pressed them down, or pressed them up, and then these two front ones are down. And then we come up here and we're folding down. And then we come to the seven and we're folding down, okay? So we wanna just give those a nice press. And the same thing here, if I can get that press and then come and press here and then we want to press here okay so that should give us hopefully i was at that six wait a minute oops oh yeah i feel like something's a little off but okay yeah, that's perfect all right so we have that part done so now what we want to do is we want to get all our pieces um, cut for doing the front of this. And I have those prepped. Actually, I have them prepped twice. So for the front in our um, colored pieces, like what I have here, um, 
basically what we want is our center piece here is going to be four and three quarters by three and a quarter so that gives us our main piece right there and then our two sides are four and three quarters by one inch and so those are the two sides and then our bottom piece is three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters and that gives us our bottom so the next is your design paper piece. And so for the design paper piece, we want it four and a half by three inches. And that goes there. And then we want the two sides to measure four and a half by three quarters. And those are gonna go there. And then the bottom piece is three quarters, or half of an inch, sorry, half inch by five and a half. And that's gonna be the bottom, okay? So you'll want to go ahead and glue those, sew them. If you're sewing them, I suggest using um, a glue with a fine tip and just coming in the center and then in the center of all the others. And then you can go ahead and sew the edges. If not, glue them however you choose um, to. And so that is our front. We have that one ready here. Um, so I have one prepped and I've done all my sewing. I figured I wouldn't be able to do that. So now for the main piece, I'm not using that on here, but if you're wanting um, this main image piece where the cupcake's on, I, I'm gonna give you the measurements for that. So it's three and three quarters by two and a half inches for the green. And then you're gonna want a three and a half inch by two and a quarter inch for the white. And so that will give you that piece. On this one, I'm doing it a little different. Um, I, I just, it's hard sometimes to make the cards um, exactly the same. <laughs> so I don't wanna do that. Okay, so to get the inside piece, let's do that before we decorate. So, or before we get everything to go ahead and decorate. So on the inside piece, we want to cut, um, let me get my little, so I did a pocket. We're not doing the pocket on this. We're doing, okay, so the inside piece, we want to cut our pink, or in this case, it was green. On this one, it's pink, so we're going to say pink. So we want to cut our pink piece five and three quarters, um, our five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then um, we want the white five and a half by five and a half. And let me see if I've zoomed out all the way. There we go. Okay. So on this one, we're gonna use the scoreboard. And the reason why is this is how we're gonna get our little cut marks. So on, um, on that cardstock one, the colored one, we want to score at four and three quarters inch. So we want to just come in and score four and three quarters. And then we're going to flip this piece to the left and score at one and a quarter. So this is going to give us our lines. So again, four and three quarters and meet up to that line. Now we could use this, you'd probably get a better, nicer cut using um, your tool. I'm gonna use scissors. So we've done this side, so let's now do this side. So again, four and three quarters, come in, and then flip it to the left, and then uh, one and a quarter. So four and three quarters and meet up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these pieces out. And it's always nice to have the inside done and you can do anything you want to the inside um, piece. So that's gonna give us this right here, okay? So there you have that. And I didn't glue this one down. I should have done that and had it prepped. Okay, so for the white now, um, on the white, we're gonna come to four and a half. And we're gonna turn it again to the left and do one and a quarter. 
So the one and the quarter stays the same. Four and a half is where it changes. So flip that. We're going four and a half. And then go to the left, one and a quarter. So four and a half. Okay. And again, we'll trim this. And then you'll want to do, if you want to do any stenciling, distressing, you would do that now. Um, I'm not doing that in this video because I want to go ahead and decorate the card. Okay. So there we have that. So your inside is done um, on that. So if you're wanting to see videos on doing the stenciling or um, whatnot for the inside of the cards or pockets, please let me know in the comments and I can go ahead and do videos on on that. I would do them separately because it'll just take too long. Okay, so I'm setting that aside because that'll go with a different card. So now that we have everything ready, you can go ahead and glue or tape this down. Um, I think I'm just going to glue it today. Um, I glued everything to the front on this card. And you can use score tape. Typically, I on my regular cards, I just use score tape. It's pretty easy, but um, the glue is pretty fast here, so we'll just do that. Okay, so once you get that where you want it, go ahead and press it down. And now your card is ready to decorate. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate this together. Um, I have prepped a lot of the things that I wanna use. And so on this card here, I did use the Celebrate Times um, collection from TLC Designs. Um, oh, I'm not, oh, I did use, so I did use, and I'm going to go over that really quick with you. So to get the little cupcakes, I did use the Celebrate Border Die, and the way I did that, I kind of have one, I think, prepped for another time. Let's see for, okay. So, what you'd want to do is just cut your two pieces and cut like uh, your colored cardstock and then go ahead and glue this down like so. And then you'll come in and fussy cut all the little cupcakes out or the ice creams. On this one that we're doing today, I have I have ice creams to use on it. And then I also have some prepped for another card. I try to keep some of my stuff um, prepped. So when I go to do um, a card, I'll have, have that ready. So that's how we got the cupcakes um, for this one. And where did I put those cupcakes? Oh, they're drying. So I have them all ready right here. So I have six of them. So we need three for each side. Um, the stenciling on the card, I did use the Celebrate Sweetly. And I did the sweet little cupcakes around. If you want a video tutorial on that, please let me know. And I'm um, happy to do one showing you some little tips on doing that and making it easy and fun. And okay, so we've done those. So the next thing we I'm doing is I'm picking out from TLC Designs the Celebrate Sentiments. And I already have them prepped. And I'm gonna use Just Make a Wish. And so that's that. And then the TLC Celebrate Ephemera Pack. I'm using um, the same cupcake and balloons that I used on this card here. And so we're grabbing from that. And then um, from the Loving Petal Square, I'm gonna pull, um, I do need the die because I do wanna distress that, but I'm going to use this sweet little pink one and then I love using the die so I can distress a little bit so we're going to go ahead and do that really quick and then the next thing for the front I'm going to use the tiny 
uh, Vine Oval, and I already have one prepped for that, so we can skip that. Same thing, I take the dye and I'll distress just doing in a, a circular motion on that. And so I think I have that in some of my other videos. Um, and so we're gonna just do this. So let's get all this ready. Okay, so let's grab some pink. Um, I wanna use this. So on this one here, let's see if I can zoom in and I hope I remember to zoom back out. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just line it up on the back and then you can take a little piece of pay, uh, tape and we wanna make sure we take a lot of that sticky off. So just doing like so. And then I can hold down. So once I get to that side, um, I could move the tape. And then go ahead and grab some ink. I'm using Pretty in Pink um, Stampin' Up. And then we just want some faint, whoops, and I just saw that that moved. It's easier for me usually when I just hold it down. Let's go like so. Okay. So I just want to give it a little bit. And that just gives it a little bit of pink on there. Could go darker. Okay, so I've got that. So I have all my pieces ready, I believe. So let me zoom out. Okay. So I want to do where I'm going to pop this one, I believe, off of here. And I'm going to use the thicker um, little foam tabs for this. Just get all these prepped. I probably should have had these prepped. Ugh. Sometimes it's hard to think, oh, what should we prep? What should you not? But this would have been one of the things. <laughs> okay, because we all know um, how to get our little tabs on there. Alrighty. So I'm gonna just put the foam tabs on um, all my pieces. And this one, I just did it flat. Usually, usually I'll try to give a lot of dimension, but since I'm using these thicker foam tabs, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. So we're just gonna place this like so. And then the cute little tag. I think I want the um, thinner, the ones that aren't so high on this one. Oops, let's go like so. Okay. Super fun card to make. Gosh, I used to make this one all the time um, years ago. It's been quite, um, some time since I have. Let's see how we want that. So I think I want my cupcake right there. So do I want the make a wish? Okay, so I'm thinking that's gonna go. What if we do them like that? And I think that would be really cute. Okay. So go ahead and get your foam tabs on there. I 
So you could decorate these any way you'd like if you want to use a bunch of flowers. I do have on my blog um, tons of uh, different fold cards. So if you're interested, you can check that out. And then we'll go ahead and put that one there. So on this one, we want the thin guy. And that one's probably going to need to be cut. So I prepped a bunch of the little cupcakes to do along the side. I really loved the look of the little cupcakes um, on the side. And this one actually should have had, whoops. So on this side, we need to build it up because he's coming off the, the edge. Oops, let's pull that one off. We're gonna add a little glue to this one right here. Okay, let's hope that works. Oh. Cute. Okay, so now is the time um, to go ahead and use your glitters if we're gonna put some glitter on these. Um, actually, you know what? Let's wait doing that because now I'm going to add, I forgot. Sorry, you guys. I want to add these cupcakes to the sides. So I'm going to cut um, these all in half. I think I had smaller ones, but let's go ahead. So these little um, cuties were dipped in the little TLC sprinkle collection for the Celebrate. Super cute little jar. Um, I was able, and I have a bunch left, to do up um, three different sets of these, and then there's still a ton left to do um, some others, and then there's some big um, little, the pearls, and so. So we'll just put a little tab on the back, and we can put these wherever. So let's see, I think I want one here. I have a little ice cream cone I'm gonna use. Uh, we're gonna go one there. Oh, I think all the big ones were over here. So let's go big bottom. And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna keep any extras. There. Okay. So, little tabs on these. And just stick these on. Now this little one here, I may have to use one of the small foam tabs. use one on that one too okay there we go so the front's almost done I'm just gonna do my bow right here I picked out a pink that I'm gonna use on that so for decorating the cupcake I picked um, two greens and then just the stardust and I think for my bow I'm just gonna do a pink bow I'm thinking on that. I'm not sure which pink I want. That's the only thing. So it's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. I guess I can just make up a few. Okay. I'm just going to make up a A few bows. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not, I don't know if I like that color. I kind of like this one. So I think I'm going to use this one. I think because it's kind of, it's got the bling on the edge. And this one, I'm going to do a lot of loops. 
go. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna come in with the brown underneath. Okay, and so there's that. I just don't want to cover those cupcakes up. I feel like it needs something else. Let's see, it's hard to tell sometimes. Oh, that's cute. Just keeping it kind of all pink. Okay, so we'll just glue that one down. I'm gonna cut off. And let me get the glue gun. Okay. I just kind of place that like so. Whoops. Did I not? Oh, I didn't put a little sticky on that. Oh boy. Okay, let's get that one done. Okay. So in this little jar that I had, where did I put it? Oh, it's right there. It was hiding. There are some of the bigger... Uh, there we go. There are some big... Pearls in here. And let's see if I can get one to come out. That one's really pretty. I don't know why this tool isn't grabbing it. It wanted to. It's grabbing everything but what I want. Oh, I'm afraid to put my finger in there because I'm going to grab all the little sparkles. So, there we go. I was thinking of using that right there. So, we'll just put that one on there. There's also some really cute little flowers in there. Hopefully I can pick this up with the tool. So I'm just gonna place it to cover the, the wire. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, and so there we have it. Um, you could always add something down here. I'm gonna leave this one um, plain and then my insides done and this is my other one so this one here it has the little pocket and you could always do some journaling on there and I hope you enjoyed my video today if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos on maybe some stenciling or something else please let me know in the comments below and thank you for stopping by and have a great day. Bye-bye.